Welcome back to the show, everybody. Check out these headlines we have for you today. Ripple plus the UAE equals JP Morgan. What is going on out here, ladies and gentlemen? One COO says Ripple will lose in the SEC versus Ripple case. We got John Deaton here to counter those predictions. We also have Stuart Alderati, Brad Garlinghouse, and Ripple. And why is Bloomberg Law saying they could all be headed to appellate court. Somebody roll that beautiful intro. Digital Perspectives with Brad Kimes. Come on in. Welcome back to the show, everybody. You can follow us on TikTok, YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook for exclusive content. Right now, $875 billion market cap for crypto. It's off by 1.5%. Bitcoin, 16,800 plus. Ethereum, 1,200 plus. We see the market cap of Tether, 65 billion plus. Right now, XRP is at 38 cents. Let's get into this, ladies and gentlemen. With everything falling down around us, I want to remind you right now, if you have not done it, I'm telling you, I know you can't keep up with everything. We know the markets are collapsing around us. It seems like there isn't a good place to stand. This is the learning curve you've been looking for. I can tell you that. You're going to get the tools you need, investor checklists, portfolio creation, groups, courses, and the support from an amazing community plus weekly live streams. You get full access to the Telegram group, VIP ticket to our live event and our meetup. This is the time when real wealth is made. I'm telling you right now, if you take advantage of this special offer and join this group, this one-time investment in yourself, you're going to be glad that you did. Link is underneath the video. And let's look at this right here, ladies and gentlemen. And it's the Digital Perspectives Mastermind Group, ladies and gentlemen. Don't mess around. People in there are joining, and it is turned into an incredible community very quickly. And there's so many resources as well. Billionaire Chamath Palapatia calls FTX implosion a sophisticated con perpetrated on millions of people. Well said, Chamath, because I believe it as well. And this is a reminder in these uncertain times, Ledger's just released Ledger Stacks Bundle. This is what it looks like, ladies and gentlemen. Take a look at that. You now have the ability to move NFTs onto your Ledger Stacks Bundle. You can personalize them with your NFT and your name, name them anything you want. And you can see it looks way more user friendly. They brought in the gentleman who created the iPod to put together the Ledger Stacks bundle. Link underneath the uh, videos for that as well. I'm getting a pre-order. Don't mess around. Don't cut me out of it. Here we see Elizabeth Warren says crypto bank Silvergate was asked by three U.S. senators to release all records tr about transfers of funds for the collapsed FTX empire, Sam Bankman Freed. And, you know, this is one of the few times that I do agree that this information should be brought to light. Uh, very rarely will I agree. But I tell you this, as we talk about this, you know, had the regulators that had met with Sam Bankman Freed and FTX done their job properly and not looked past the person and the company sitting in the meeting with them because they were the second largest Democratic donor, I think we could have stopped this from happening a lot sooner. That's my speculation, and I'm sticking to it. This isn't speculation, though. XRP Ledger Labs to launch GateHub integration for its fiat on off-ramps service in Europe. Oh, it gets good. I tell you, I like this. Shout out to XRP Ledger Labs. We'd say when and everyone over there doing so much for the project. Months after XRP Labs launched a fiat on off-ramp service for some wallet, pro-wallet users in the Netherlands, developer, we'd say when disclosed that the team is close to launching a GitHub integration for the service. Currently, the fiat on off-ramp service, which means swapping fiat currencies to XRP and XRP to fiat, is available on the Sum Wallet, pro users only. It says here, Wynn said the XRP Ledger's Labs is close to going live with GitHub integration. He added that GitHub integration would come with multiple on off-ramp providers, including leading global on off-ramp solution, Banksa. 
So there we have that. He does go on to remark here that is a $60 per year Zum Pro fee comes with more than just on and off ramps. We're close to going live with GateHub integration, multiple on and off ramp providers, banks uh, official. This to me is very, very exciting. More functionality, interoperability into the actual world of money. That is extremely exciting. And I would happily pay $60 a year for that convenience. No doubt about it. This here from Eleanor Terrett from Fox Business News. Shout out to her. She says, Brian uh, Moynihan, excuse me, from Bank of America CEO tells Team Cavuto CBDC's cryptocurrency really isn't going to change the system. Well, I love hearing that, actually. It is very efficient payment system. You can go anywhere in the world and hand people a piece of plastic and get dinner. That's a pretty fantastic system. Oh, let me tell you, I'm going to tell you, you know, some of you might be like, well, what's going on here? Well, I can tell you, I think I may know. Uh, uh, Moynihan also said Bank of America was never for cryptocurrencies. What are uh, what we are for is the blockchain technology, and those are two vastly different things. He revealed Bank of America currently has around two to three hundred patents in blockchain and distributed ledger technology. I remind you all right now that Ripple is also wrapped up in at least one of those patents with Bank of America. And when it comes back to CBDCs, it really isn't going to change the system. I kind of like hearing that because, first of all, I don't want to. CBDC myself. I know they're coming. And as long as they're wholesale back end, I am absolutely fine with it. And you know what? XRP can bridge it all day long where needed, right? That's how I'm seeing that. And they're absolutely right. I can hand somebody plastic and get dinner. And they can keep the uh, turning your money off and social credit score and all the negative things that come with digital money. They can keep that wholesale back yet, right? That's where I'm at with that. Give me, if you're going to do a digital dollar, give me a retail digital dollar that is absolutely separate from government control. And then we'll talk. You know, we'll talk about it then. But shout out to Eleanor Terra for the news there. This is from Flood Raid here. You dot today. JP Morgan has teamed up with Ripple partner Al Fardon Exchange in the UAE. But there's more. <laughs> This I want to take a look at here. Al Fardon Exchange LLC collaborates with global leader JP Morgan in regional first. This is agreement right here uh, for faster payments globally is what we're talking about here, right? Dubai, Al Fardon Exchange, leading money transfer currency exchange firm, which is licensed and regulated in Central Bank of the United Arab Emirates, UAE, is continuing its string of accomplishments and its latest venture in relationship with the world-renowned bank JP Morgan. But it gets better. Al Fardon Exchange, you can see the picture. I know we reported on this. It feels like 100 years ago in crypto, but that's not being gooped right there. Al Fardon Exchange, one of the UAE's leading financial service providers, has announced a partnership with Ripple the leading provider of enterprise blockchain and crypto technology solutions for cross-border payments. This partnership will see Alfardon join Ripple's cloud-based global financial network, RippleNet, cloud and allow Alfardon's customers to remit money internationally in real time at any time of day all year round. How about that? Sounds like JP Morgan's got the foot in the door on that too, now doesn't it? Gene Hoffman, the COO officer at blockchain company Chia Network, has predicted that the U.S. Securities Exchange Commission will defeat Ripple in a closely watched legal battle. If we go into here, let's find out why Gene feels so strongly here. And then we're going to hear from John Deaton. It says here the only outcome is that uh, he says here uh, Chia Network CEO has predicted this SEC will defeat Ripple in a closely watched legal battle soon stretch into its third year. The only outcome is that the federal judge will rule that Ripple sales of XRP made XRP a security, he tweeted. The former public company CEO says the federal judges are skeptical enough to know that most people bought XRP hoping the number would go up. Hence, the arguments of Ripple and its supporters about the cryptocurrency's alleged 
utility likely won't fly. Hoffman, who has decades experience working with the SEC, has pointed to the fact that the regulators has not lost a Section 5 case in decades, adding that there is a very little difference or difference, excuse me, between XRP and library credits tokens. And it says here, uh, peer-to-peer content distrib- distribution network of library was defeated in the SEC. Now, we know that that was the first circuit court, not the second circuit court. Now, let's go on. He says, moreover, the Ripple leadership was informed by none other than Bill Hinman, the former director of the SEC's division corporate of finance. When did that happen? That it was, in fact, illegal and operating as a security. Well, you know what? That's why we bring in the big guns. It's the field general, baby. It's John Deaton himself, ladies and gentlemen. And you know what? He dismisses the claims from the COO. So let's go ahead and let John straighten this out here. He says here, basically, uh, Deaton's reaction is crypto law founder, pro ripple law attorney, uh, and it's and he's XRP holder, class action lawsuit representing seventy six thousand of us. John Deaton responded to Hoffman's statement, saying he would place the comment in proper context using facts. <laughs> Deaton said two months after the controversial June twenty eighteen Hinman speech where the former SEC exec uh, declared ETH and Bitcoin as a non-security. Ripple CEO Brad Garlinghouse and CTO David Schwartz met with former SEC chair Jay Clayton and William Hinman at the time to also get clear regulation for XRP. He added that on June 13th, 2018, a day before Hinman's controversial speech, the SEC enforcement, enforcement lawyers performed a detailed analysis on XRP, applying the Howey test to determine whether the crypto asset was a security. According to Deaton, if the SEC were certain that XRP was a security, Clayton and Hinman would have informed Ripple's execs. However, Deaton said that the agency never told Garlinghouse and Schwartz that the SEC enforcement lawyers found XRP to be a security. That is quite remarkable now, isn't it? Deaton said that uh, if the SEC had concluded that the XRP was a security, the agency's enforcement division would have recommended a cease and desist letter be filed against Ripple or an enforcement action against the leading blockchain company. He added that the SEC would not have sat back for over a year after concluding XRP was a security and watch Ripple execs sell illegal securities to the public. Well said. We can always count on John Deaton to lay it down, straighten it out. Chia Network. I think maybe you need to work on the name, focus more energy on the name of that company. Chia Network. It's not hitting. And then we learn here a few new fun facts about our inimitable Stuart Alderati here himself. Example, the man has put out both literal and figurative fires. The article explains that Stuart Alderati did do some firefighting in his younger days. But I also want to show you this from Stuart Alderati in response to Brad Garlinghouse's uh, tweet on the article. He said, Stuart Alderati says, as we hit the beginning of the end with the SEC lawsuit, I couldn't have asked for a better team to be part of. Thankful every day for my equally inimitable colleagues at Ripple. How about that one? And then we have the article, which I found to be very interesting down here. It says, in, this is Bloomberg Law here, ladies and gentlemen. The company argues that XRP isn't an investment contract, which we all know, and thus isn't subject to the regulator's authority. Allowing the SEC to regulate the token as a security would open the door to treating other assets like cars, diamonds, and soybeans as securities, Ripple said in the court papers. It's absolutely right. Now, there's another spot in here I want to show you that really, really brings it on home, which is down here a little further here. Let me get this up for us here. Uh, One second. Let's see here. Here we go right here. Did you catch it? It says right here, Ripple said in a statement it has no significant uh, exposure to FTX or BlockFi bankruptcies. Thank goodness, right? In that regard, the case has actually worked in almost an insulary way, right? So it's insulated from the things that are happening around here, aside from the fact that Bitcoin dominance is controlling the market, but I believe ODL controls XRP price. 
uh, here we go. So uh, that, that's why I believe it won't go to zero. Uh, the company said, not financial advice. The company said it doesn't foresee its business to business operations being affected despite industry hopes for a decision that finally ends uncertain eventual court ruling for a Ripple SEC case could add more ambiguity to an already confusing, ambiguous space. It goes on to note here that, uh, I guess it's Nagy, uh, says here, noted that while a win for the SEC would be a harbinger for more regulatory action, Ripple appears to be playing the long game and is likely to fight the case through appellate courts if needed. You know, I said this a long time ago, I believe if all the money is going to go across these value protocols. It was Stuart Alderati called for a ripple test instead of the Howie test. Well, where did the Howie test come from? Ultimately, it came from a Supreme Court decision. We're going to watch this very closely and see how it moves forward. And I am reaching out and talking to legal analysts in this space as we speak. There's no doubt about that. Stay tuned for more. Not financial advice from me or anyone else. The plot thickens, ladies and gentlemen. I'll catch all of you on the next one.